Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got a yo 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 yo. We got Fredo Bang man. We got Fredo Bang man. He got he got something to say about um the extraterrestrials man. We got um uh, your favorite artist on deck. Uh, we also got um uh, Kanye West getting uh caught lacking man. You know what I'm saying? Soldier Boy <laughs> taking back his apology man. You know what's gonna happen. And Boosie again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey yo, if this your first time to the channel man, be sure to hit that like button and feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell's waiting for your taps. Go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button's waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that too, yo. Check this out, man. Let me ask you a question, man. If aliens arrived to the earth, right? And and, and they was low-key kind of hot, would you smash? So look, look, some of y'all holding up y'all fists like celeb. Do you not see these five fingers right here? I'm waiting on some alien buns. Yo, settle down, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh look, you and Fred Obang, okay? Listen. Fredo was asked, um, uh, wait, wait, let me see, let me see if I can pull up what he was asked, man. This is insane. I just coming from Ball Alert, right? Ball Alert, Ball Alert posted this. They said, um, uh, Fredo Bang is not opposed to snuggling up with an alien, but only if she's worth it. During the press run for his new album, uh, Yes, I'm Sad, <laughs> the rapper sat down with the big homie's, um, house uh, where the subject of whether or not aliens are real came up. More specifically, Bang was asked what he thought about the internet rumor that aliens had landed in Miami after a sizable, unexplained police presence um, had left social media buzzing. While he wasn't totally familiar with the situation, he heard about it. Um, and it said that, uh, let me see here. Bang was questioned about whether he would entertain the idea of sleeping with an alien if it had a sufficient level of thickness. Bang wasn't exactly opposed to the idea. As long as the alien sex was, quote unquote, safe. He goes, if you're asking me would I cuff an alien? I can't say I wouldn't. I have to investigate. Make sure everything is everything. It's possible. Close quote. Uh, <laughs> hey, look, 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 man. That, that loneliness is an itch, ain't it? Listen, man. Hey, look, look. The man said he would beat Alien Box. Yo, say, hey, look. If it was thick enough, I could see the alien ship hearing what I just said and making a U-turn full speed on a dime. You know what I mean? Look, they probably they probably telling their home world like, look, we got a candidate eager and willing to reproduce with us. Hey, look, look. What if we found out that Uranus was populated with aliens that all resembled Fred O'Bang? You know what I'm saying? Because cause like they reproduce like crocodiles and stuff like that. Like they have 12 or 48 eggs and stuff like that. And a bunch of Fred O'Bangs popped out. Look, for all of you aliens out there listening, let me tell you something about Earth, okay? In case you ain't know, Earth is the ghetto of the galaxy. Don't come to the ghetto of the galaxy thinking it's sweet because Fredo may be one of the nice ones out here you f around and wind up in hollywood man they'll cast you in the follow-up to et and then take your box you know what I'm saying? look if you ain't never been to the ghetto don't ever come to the ghetto ghetto of the galaxy because you wouldn't understand the ghetto of the galaxy so stay the cuff out the ghetto of the galaxy okay especially if you're thick you like this can't be real. I know. I'm look. I'm reading to you what they telling me, man. Listen, your favorite artist. The man was so busy trolling you, he didn't create content you cared about enough, and chart data wound up trolling him. The man, <laughs> look, 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 look. You know who I'm talking about, man. When I say your favorite artist, it used to be Six Nine, and now it's Lil Nas X. Okay. Look, stop being in denial and just take it, man. Chart data trolled Lil Nas X, and they 69 his ad. On the Billboard Hot 100, man. Look, LNX stands at a 69. Ain't that poetic? Look, your favorite artist used to be 6ix9ine, and now it's Lil Nas X who drops his single, which opens on the Billboard charts at 69. And of course, that number was right up his alley. Hey, look, he posted this. He said, he said, we did it, boys. We reached the funny number. Be very proud of yourselves. This is our moment. Close quote. Hey, look, 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 look. One person commented and said, all that controversy for that? With the crying emoji. Another person said, this is why trolling and big budget videos don't matter anymore. While another person said, hopefully, 
This forces him to switch up the formula. The controversy route is so tired. Close quote. <laughs> you think that'll cause him to switch up his formula? It won't. Look, certain things, it's hard to come back from. Real talk. You, you follow what I'm saying? The whole slide down the stripper pole in the Satan's lap and give him a lap dance. You just cut yourself off from a whole population of people that could never unsee that. Okay? Even if you turned over a new leaf, a majority of women could never see you as a masculine man. And in a lot of ways, it's like his actions may have locked him away from access to a large number of people that just that just could never forgive his actions, quite frankly. Like, there's no other way to put it. Some people are like, nah, man, I can't unsee what you did, man. What you did, you was doing too much. You was doing too much, though. Listen, Kanye West and wife Bianca Sensori uh, got caught lacking in the streets of L.A., man. You know what I mean? Talking, uh, someone someone caught him in the, in the streets, a homeless dude. Talking about, all oh, you ain't ish. I am God, Lucifer, and the whole nine, y'all. He was talking crazy. Take a listen real quick. I talking to white boy, so fucking bad. You ain't shit, boy. You know that. He thinks he's so, he's so smart, so new, so nifty. You ain't shit, boy. Don't at least not play like party too. I don't fuck for I am a god, homie. Who's the fuck, homie? You ain't shit, boy. Don't do that, man. Hey, yo, hey, yo, I'm mad at his lady. Look, he told her to get in the car. She goes around the other side. What are you doing on this side? Go back to the other side. Look, the man is crazy. He calling himself Lucifer. You running laps around the car when I just told you to get inside the passenger side of the car. What are you doing? Look, I'm already in the driver's seat. What are you going to do? Sit on my lap? Who on the passenger side didn't let him, didn't move over so she can come in? What's she coming around the back for? The guy's crazy over here talking crazy. Mentioning Playboy Cardi in the whole night. Let me see what the man said. The man said all kinds of crazy stuff. Let me see what he said. He said, he said, uh, you trying to copy the white folks so effing bad. You ain't ish, boy. He thinks he's so smart, so new, so nifty. And Playboy Cardi, too. <laughs> A little cuff boy. <laughs> that don't play the boy Cardi. Like, what I do? Uh, IMG, Lucifer, homie. I ain't no Kid Cuddy. I ain't Cuddy, dog. Kid Cuddy, like, what I do? He said, I am the realest. Not Hove, not you. I ain't Lupe Fiasco. Lupe's like, what, me? He said, I ain't most deaf. Most deaf is like, oh, come on. He said, I am the one, boy. This is my cuffing block. And then he goes, I'm homeless 12 years. <laughs> so I guess literally, it really is his block. It ain't his house. It is his block. He said, um, he said, I ain't listened to Yay. Since 07, not since graduation. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that's so funny. Listen, uh, YFN Lucci, um, he's gotten a plea deal, man. They, they let him off. He, he, look, 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 look. He got a very, very nice deal, okay? Now, um, in case you didn't know, YFN Lucci, uh, he was facing some murder charges, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and he he was he he went he went with it, man. One count of violation of the street uh, gang terrorism and prevention at Rico, I think, right? And was sentenced to ten years in prison and ten years of probation. Ten years in prison, ten years of probation. However, almost all of the time, they said they're gonna suspend the time and he'll be out in three and a half months you're like wait 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 three and a half months you heard me did i did i say it in a different language you heard what the heck i said three and a half months now, i don't know if you remembered 
he was arrested back in 2021, right? After um, there was there was like some kind of gang related shootout, and someone in the car that he was driving leaned out the car, started shooting. They got killed, and then that person that got killed that was leaning out the car, they left them on the side of the road. Yes, he may have been Lucci's ride or die, but after he died, he ain't ride. You know what I'm saying? I didn't tell you that before. Listen, um, yeah, his lawyer said that he's going, he's going, he's look, he, 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 he doesn't have to do any time like that. You know what I mean? Three months. Like, I mean, damn, you damn near free. Uh, let me see what they, they posted. Uh, said breaking news. Why Fen Lucci will serve about 3.5 months in jail. Academics posted this and then he'll be released and serve the rest of his sentence on probation. More details as part of this negotiated uh, plea. Why Fen Lucci was sentenced to 10 years in prison, but after serving a, a one third of his sentence, he's eligible for parole. After getting credit for time served, he'll be eligible for parole in 3.5 months. Prosecutors have already agreed to not fight his release. So his defense team is very confident and he'll be released early from prison Ooh, i'd be afraid if i was him like please don't say this out loud you know what i'm saying um so yeah 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 i guess things are looking up for him you know what i mean now uh he also um turned down a plea deal that would have given him what is it 17 years in prison and he may not even be forced he may not be forced to testify against young thug now i don't know if you remember but um, the, the relation to Young Thug is that it was being stated that Young Thug threatened to kill Lucci. You know what I mean? So that's that's what's going on with that. Uh, what's my time looking like? Let me see. What, 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 let me see what time is. Oh, 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do our shout outs real quick. Let's do our shout outs real quick. We had a couple shout outs. We did something on the backup channel, but I want to make sure I get the shout outs over here too real quick. So um, shout out to... Uh, Tony, Tony, no downs. My man said, yo, thank you, bro. Uh, your videos are the highlight of my day. Always a good laugh. Speaking of comedy, I can say that you're funnier than Kevin Hart. You think so, bro? That's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a huge compliment, man, because I think Kevin Hart's relatively funny. Natural ass said, yo, I don't know why, but it tickles me the way you say box in reference to the cat. I'm over here like tickles you, really? Well, don't, oh, is she falling asleep? She okay? Okay. Now, one of my coworkers, she 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 looked like she was falling asleep while she was walking. She's like she was sleepwalking. Let me let me not look. Uh where we at over here, man? Um uh who you got over here, my bad. Cal uh Cal Ripton. My man said, yo, what up, celeb, man? Is it just me or is celeb not recording in the whip no more? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm I'm still recording in the whip. I I think I covered that on the backup channel. Did I cover your question on the backup channel? You like, yeah, I just asked the question once. It's not my fault you're repeating it. Oh yeah. Um, who else we got over here, man? Uh, all right, I think that's all we got. That's, that's all we got for today. That's all we got for today. I mean, I was supposed to have more, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know why they ain't share out my last video. No, never mind all that. Listen, uh, we 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 told you how Blueface reacted to Soldier Boy's apology on the backup channel yesterday, man. You know what I'm saying? Or, or today, I think it's gonna come out today. Blueface said he goes, um, when when Soldier Boy said what he said, Blueface goes, yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> and, and we said, we certainly hope that Soldier Boy doesn't take his apology back because, oh wait, Soldier Boy is making his way to the stage of social media. Look, hopefully he's aiming to be the bigger man. You know what I'm saying? Oh wait, wait he's reaching for the bike. Let's see what Soldier's got to say about Blueface's response. Take a listen real quick. Listen, my I'm gonna apologize. I ain't apologize for shit. I said I don't never want to see another man in jail. But guess what? He puts that can ride right in that. He stand that for you. Fuck. I want to get on the phone trolling with a real gangster. Me, the bitch. What you talking about, nigga? Puss that. And who up in that watching this? Get thousand cash. You go put dick in that booty right now. Yo, baby, I'm ugly. Aunt, by. Look like concrete. Fuck you, talking about her legs skinny as. Yo, baby, I'm ugly. And your other baby, mama ugly. That bitch got one teeth. Fake teeth. Fuck out of here. I never. Yo, baby, mama. Oh, God, I'll never stick my dick in her, nigga. Look, I'm gonna get A off the top. Put my dick in your baby mama. Out of here, pussy. I'm gonna break your jaw when you get out of jail. I'm gonna die. My mom. You know how you the weakest guy I ever beef with? Don't you know I've been beefing with since elementary school? Since before I got famous? I've been beefing with the whole life. You the weakest guy I ever beef with. I done shot real gangs up to my six foot top, big tall, big Debo looking. Bow, bow, bow! Put that phone on that 
take him down. You the weakest, you the weakest link. And he fell for it. He fell for it. Look, look, soldier, 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 calm down. Calm down, soldier. So, bro, bro, hold up a second. Hold up a second. Be cool. Be cool. Look, Blueface is trolling. You you know that Blueface is trolling. But he, I think he fell for it, though. You know what He fell for it. Listen, uh, what did what, what, what Soldier say? Soldier said, Soldier said, man, he said, we ain't squashing ish. Um, ain't no sorries, Ninja. We beat Blueface on site. Every time I see you, Ninja, you getting beat. F you talk about. I mean, I mean, you know what he's talking about. He said what he said. And, 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 and then he didn't accept your apology. And <laughs> I knew, we just knew that. We knew Sojo was going to do this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and finally, uh, this is a short video today, man. I just meant to be longer, but I cut all kinds of stories for today. Listen, uh, cause that's because I want to beat the buses out of here. Listen, uh, uh, Boosie's son, Tootie Raw, apparently went to the club to enjoy himself. And all that fun and excitement came right out of his face. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, take a look at what happened to um, Boosie's son, Tootie Raw. Nigga throwing up, little young ass. Smell like number Casamigo over here. Little young ass. Nigga throwing up and shit. Call him, nigga. Earl 911. Little young ass throwing up here. Hey, bro, I tried to hold you. Man, this nigga here. Nigga tow up, man. Tow up. Ain't finna fuck that dick gonna be hard as brass knuckles in the morning. Shit, man. Take that. Take that, nigga. Call Man, this man got throw up all on his nose, man. Man, what, man? Hold on. Two that. Look here, two that. Two that. Look here, man. Man, this man got throw up all on his nose. Come on, man. I'm do up. I just had to get it out. I had to get man, this man, tow up, man. Get your little young ass back to the Put him in a booster seat, man. Man, I don't got no booster seat. I ain't never rode in the booster seat, ever. I hey, look, hey, look. Boosie said, put him in a booster seat. That Then Tootie said those fatal words that might sink the ship. He said, I ain't never rode in no booster seat. The feds is like, got him, got him. We got him, Jim. We got him. Look, Tootie ain't never rode in the booster seat. Let's get him, boys. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, for the sake of knowledge, right? You viewers from Atlanta, let me just throw this out here. Okay? According to Georgia law, children should use a booster seat if they're between the ages of four and seven. I don't know how that is in, in other states. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, what is it? Uh, if you're under, what is it? Four feet, nine inches tall? So look, don't get roped up and then have to answer the questions. Them fateful questions in prison. Yeah, yo, what you were here for? And, and then you got to be all hard and be like, booster seat, homie. You know what I'm saying? Everybody collectively like, oh, damn, 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 bro. Nah, nah, leave him alone, leave him alone. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to have to be all that. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, man. Your source, Celeb News.